Hi friends, this is Caitlin and today I'm making a 4x6 Hocus Pocus inspired decor piece for Halloween featuring the Salem Sister stamp set and the I Put a Spell on You die from Kindred Stamps. Hocus Pocus is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time and I've seen it so many times that I could probably recite at least the first half hour just on the spot without even having the movie on. It's that bad. So I'm starting out by making a background panel for my little character to go on. Um, you could saw in the beginning I was holding up the die to my panel so that I had an idea of where I wanted my lightest central color to be because I knew I wanted the sentiment at the top of my panel and my little character down at the bottom. So now I'm going around with my second lightest shade, kind of creating a halo effect. And I have to be super honest with you, I'm blending on a scrap piece of Express It Copic paper. And uh, this is definitely not the paper that I would recommend for ink blending. Um, after having done this, the finished product I like, but it was not easy to blend on. You can see throughout the whole thing, it's gonna look very patchy. Um, when I added in my distress marks and my shimmer splatters later and then covered everything with my dye, the finished product I think looks great. I have no issue with it, but if I was going to do this over again, this would not be the paper that I would use. You're going to see as I'm trying to blend it out the best that I can, I'm kind of hopping back and forth between my colors, kind of overlapping them and building them up on top of each other as much as I can to really try to saturate that paper. I was hoping that because this was Copic paper, the colors would slide around a little more on the surface, but because that wasn't happening, I did go back in with a multiple layers of each color, overlapping them to try to get the best blend that I could. And when it came time to do the black soot, I switched from the brushes to a dome foam blender just so I could really push that saturation and get a lot of product on my paper as quickly as possible. Because I knew that I wanted to use Winnie for my character and she was going to be all in greens and purple, I wanted to play off the purple but kind of give a stronger contrast and that's why I decided to go with that picked raspberry, that super bright hot pink in the center, just because I knew they would colors would play really well together. And I'm holding my panel down with my left hand using a post-it note. My fingers are on the sticky side and that just helps create a barrier so that your fingers don't get inky and you don't leave fingerprints in your ink blend. So to start out my distressing, I went in with clean water first, just using the tube straw part of the nozzle to flick some clean water onto my panel and then blotted it off with a paper towel. And then I decided to go with my mica spray stain and flickering candle to add in some gold droplets. And you'll see later on I go back in to add a lot more because once my die cuts were on the panel they kind of covered up that splatter and I really wanted it to show through and give it a really pretty shimmer. I cut my die cut sentiment out of a piece of gold cardstock, gold glitter cardstock, and then also a piece of plain black cardstock. And you can see I'm gluing it a little bit offset so that way it gives it a nice border. I really just wanted to try to make it as legible as possible against the bright colors. And I thought that little bit of a drop shadow with the black would help to pop the font so that it showed up more. And then this is me going back in to add even more of that gold shimmer um, to really help that splatter pop through and show and create some drama on the panel. I watered down some of the shimmer spray with just water and went in with a fan brush to tap which gave a really cool fine mist of gold. And then I went back in just straight with the two part of the bottle again to get bigger bolder drips. This stamp set has some of the most adorable images and I love all of the characters from the movie, but I decided if I was only going to do one featured character with this very bold um, sentiment die cut, that Winnie would be the best because she just screams hocus pocus. Like you can't see her and not know immediately what she's from if you've ever seen the movie. So I decided to just feature her on this project, but I will be doing more projects in the future using the whole crew. Uh, but you can see I'm going in with my Copic markers and coloring her in. I tried to use as few markers as I could, but at the same time, some of the features like her head is just so giant that she really needed a four color blend 
I thought, uh, just to create that contrast and the drama. I also had a lot of fun giving her her very stark blush, just like she has in the movie. Um, and then I, when it came to the hair, I went in with extra lines of my own just to give even more drama to the artist drawn lines that were already there because in the movie, her hair really is super crazy. When I was little, Sarah was always my favorite Sanderson sister, but now that I'm older, I definitely relate to Winnie more um, and I always wanted to be Danny because I was just that age. Um, growing up that like I just wanted to be her she was super cool but I'm very curious to know who is your favorite sister please leave me a comment below and let me know who your favorite sister is or even just who your favorite character from the movie is I don't know anybody that doesn't love Pocus Pocus if they've seen it I know a couple people who've never watched it which blows my mind but I've never met someone who just didn't like it so I'm gonna assume that you have a favorite character and I want to know who it is so I ended up Googling, to refresh my memory, the colors of her dress just to make sure that I was as accurate as possible. And so I went in with that center panel with a really pretty purple and then ended up using two different green color combos, one for the main part of her dress and one for the cape and the bottom part of her skirt. Um, in the movie, she just has a ton of different greens and different textures going on. Um, so I didn't want to overwhelm it and do too many different combos, but I thought two would be nice to create a little bit of contrast and give that feeling of um, mixed fabrics. Both of the green combos that I used are very um, desaturated. So they're the 90s of the G and the YG family. And this just kind of helps to give her that spooky Halloween feeling versus using like a grass green that just would kind of clash with everything. It just keeps with that Halloween vibe that we have going on. One of my favorite sentiments in this stamp set says, oh look, another glorious birthday. And I think that that's so funny. I really want to make a birthday card using um, the Winnie stamp and that sentiment because especially now I feel like that meme has gotten really uh, popular. That, oh look, another glorious morning makes me sick. There's just so many great quotes from this movie. And I think Kindred Stamps did a really great job of capturing all of the best ones. So one thing about Kindred Stamps, and it's not good or bad, it just is, um, is that they do not have coordinating dies for their stamps. For the most part, I don't usually have an issue with this. I find that their images are detailed, but not so detailed that I can't make it work and fussy cut. You can always also leave that white border, which definitely gives you a lot more grace when it comes to your um, fussy cutting. But I personally, most of the time, don't love a white border. I usually prefer to go right up against the artist drawn lines. But even with these, like the little fingers and things, I feel like you can definitely make it work um, if that's what you want, if that's the look you're going for. So I did fussy cut this out. And then of course, as always, I went around the edges with my water-based black marker just to kind of help disguise any places where I might have not cut perfectly up against that artist drawn line. I love card making and I know that most of this community and the stamp users are focused on card making, but I have to tell you that making these four by six frameable pieces absolutely sparks a different part of my creativity and it makes me so happy. I'm just really proud of how this one turned out and I think it looks adorable up on the shelf with my fall foliage and all of my pumpkin and Halloween decor. And I really think that if you ever feel like you're getting stuck in a rut with cards, take a step back and think about something that you can make that can be framed. I have a very hard time with imposter syndrome and feeling like I'm not a real artist, especially when it comes to using stamps, because I'm not drawing the images myself. But when you're making things, even cards, but when you're making things that are framed, it really helps me feel like I can own my artistry even more. And it's a really, really great feeling. I hope you get to feel that way too if you don't already. Okay, so back to wrapping up this piece. I glued my sentiment down flat with liquid glue, and then I went in with some foam tape to pop up Winnie just because I wanted to make sure that she stood up away from that sentiment and that you could read the bottom part of the on you. And that's everything. I think this is absolutely adorable. I can't wait to decorate with it. And yeah. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're feeling super inspired. If you are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I have even more Halloween content to come. I hope you have an amazing day and happy crafting.